All right, guys, we've got one last shot. It's do or die time. Do or die is right. If we don't win this game, we're done. No salad ball. And no shot of making it to the pros. I want to be a Twin City Bear, Morty. That's my ticket out of this town. This town's not so bad. Hi, Morty. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Morty, oh, huh? Did you get that? 318, waggle right. You're the decoy. Of course I am. I was born to be the decoy. Whack. Stuart, green machine. This is your time to shine. Got it, coach. You can count on me. Make us proud, Stuart. Go green machine. Six for points, six for points, Stuart. Six for points, six for points, Stuart. It's hero time. In here, huh? Down! I'm the decoy. 319 Google, right? Set. No, 318 Waggle, right? Hut. Whoops. Hut. Ah! Hut. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! I'm the decoy. Quack! Quack! Just stay out of the way. Stuart, but football isn't the only meaningful thing in your future. You just don't understand, Donna. No, I guess I don't. Oh, hey, Dad. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks, Donna. Brought you a get well present, green machine. God bless us, everyone. Oh, another one of your toy trains. Thanks, Dad. Stuart? When I was your age, I wanted all the same things you do now. Except I was allergic to grass and hated football. Then I learned that God had a plan for my life. That no matter how bad things got, God was always making sure things turned out right. But all my life I've been dreaming of doing bigger, more important things. Being a Twin City Bear. Making a difference. Stuart, the doctor's concerned about your injury. He, uh, well, he doesn't think you'll play football again. I know. Which is why this is more than just a toy. I thought maybe you would, uh, well, help me build them. Work for the toy train factory? Someone's got to keep the business alive. I, I know it's not your dream, but, but it has its rewards and creates jobs for a lot of people. I don't know. Think about it, son. I'm never getting out of this town. Now sing the verse again about how handsome I am. Afternoon, Marty. Afternoon, Miss Linda. My, my, you're looking wonderful today. Is that your pointy? Hey, Betty. How are the grandkids? Apples up my eye, you know? I know. Did you guys see the game last night? Oh, what a catch. It was like he was using super glue. I'm telling you, that guy's like Superman. Just like him. Good morning, Mr. Green. Oh, hey, Linda. What you got? Well, Mr. Green, I've got that number you asked for. And? Well, to pay the bills and keep the business going, we'll need to make and sell a whole lot of trains by this coming Christmas. When you say a whole lot, what exactly does that mean? 10,000. <laughs> what? 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 How in the world are we going to build 10,000 trains in two months? All aboard! Aww. Aww, that is so cute. I know. I never get tired of that. Sorry, Mr. Green. 
The numbers are the numbers. We can't afford to keep the business going, to keep our jobs, if we don't get to 10,000. Well, I for one need to keep my job. Looks like we're all gonna have to pitch in and start working late. Yep, late. Late! That's what they said. No, I'm late. Late for football practice. Sorry. See you tomorrow, everybody. Ay, ay, ay. All right, men. Just remember everything we've been working on. Hit it hard and make it happen. Break! Hi, Daddy. Hey, sweetie. Up one. Up two. Up. Uh, what's after two? No, the other way, Bobby. Other way. I know the bird is pretty, but he can wait. Stinky. Can't throw the ball backwards, especially if no one's behind you. I got it. Ouch. Did you see me, Dad? You told me to pay more attention on the field. Did you see me pay more attention? Ow! Ouch. You're still on the field, son. Gee, Dad, it doesn't seem like we're very good at this. Well, not yet. That's why we practice. Who are we kidding? We're a joke. A joke? Psha, don't say that. But at this rate, I'll never be a professional football player. Well, you sure won't be if you just give up. You gotta come to play. You gotta... I don't know, give it 100%. Or more than that, you gotta give it 110%. You aren't very good at math, are you, Dad? Sports math is different, son. We're taking one game at a time. Check your stance and you'll be fine. When you step up to the plate, keep your eye on the ball and you'll be great. Dad, that's baseball. Quiet, boy, 100%. We'll never do. Get seven more, then add a few. Cause when the game is on the line, uh, Stuart. get the puck in the net and you'll be fine. Hockey, Mr. Green! There ain't no I in team. We're not sure what you mean. You gotta dig down deep before you take that leap. You're playing to win, you're laying it in, you're scooping the ball up off the rim. Basketball! 100% will never do. Get seven more. Then add a few. Split the upper right. Punch it in. That's better. Shake it off. Ten to one. A hundred and ten. Next time you win. Sounds good, Dad. Let's go get some ice cream. Mom, did you see me catch the ball? It clobbered you in the face! I didn't say how I caught it. It's Morty Bumble. The Bumblebee? Sure my nose Where? I'm Jim Gordley for Wide World of Sports, and I'm here with big news from one of the biggest football stars in the universe, the Bumblebee, Morty Bumble! Please, my friends just call me B. What's this about your retirement? It is true. I am hanging up whatever you call my football shoes forever. <gasps> Why would you do that? Well, I'm not getting any younger, Jim. I feel like my life is missing something. I want to get back to my roots. No pun intended, folks. And besides, I'm doing pretty good making commercials. Like this one. <laughs> If you're like me, you often dream of crunching while you eat ice cream. It's munchy dream, it's not ice cream, it's creamy, crunchy, sweet. It's an explosion made of taste. It's like a horse race in your face. It's no disgrace, so buy a case of creamy, crunchy, crunchy, creamy taste buds and a bunch of dreamy sugar sweetie. Crunchy, munchy dream. Munchy dream is not a toy and should not be handled unsupervised by small children. Wow, that was... I know, almost makes me want to buy a box. So... What next? I'm heading back to my hometown for Christmas, <gasps> Rockwell. You heard it here first, folks. Rockwell's native son is coming home. Did you really play football with the Bumblebee, Coach Green? Wow, Dad. I didn't know you knew anyone important. All right, kids. Home to dinner for all of you. Bye, Coach Green. See you tomorrow. Stewie. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. You boys go get your ice cream. We'll see you at home. Oh man, I can't believe I the can't bumblebee's believe coming. He's coming to town. He's so oh, awesome. sorry. No, give it to me. Give it over here. Give it, throw it boys, over here. I got no football in the house. 
I understand your concern, Mrs. Hassenpfeffer, but I assure you that this one test score won't affect Andrew's college admissions. <laughs> All right, go along! He's in the first grade. Ow. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, you see? Uh, uh, go and wash up for dinner. Sorry, Mom. Wow. Look how young we were. <laughs> yeah. We were kids ourselves. I could have given us so much more than this. What if I hadn't missed that catch, Donna? I wonder what Morty's house looks like. It doesn't matter what Morty's house looks like. Stewie, we're happy. Oh, hold that thought. Would you mind talking to Emma? She had a rough day at school. Sure. It's okay. Don't cry. I can fix it. Everything okay in here, Emma? My adopted Teddy's busted. Teddy McFluffington? Oh, no. You got the stuffing knocked out of you, Teddy boy. Art and Barney did it. They said he was a football. He's not a football. Why did there have to be boys? An age-old question. Here, let the doctor help. You're not a doctor. You make toys. That's why I'm the perfect doctor for a toy. How was school today? Well, I wanted to be the camel, but I'm just a sheep. Not following you, sweetie. In the Christmas play, the camels get to bring gold and frankincense and mirth, and all the sheep do is say, ba, ba. <laughs> That's fantastic! Daddy, don't laugh. Everybody knows the camels are a lot more important than the sheep. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. You just make an extra cute sheep. Everyone okay in here? I don't want to be a sheep. I want to be a camel. Well, maybe next year you can be a cute camel. Madison said there's nothing special about sheep. Who's Madison? The camel! What do I do now? Precious girl in our lives, making every moment bright. Your mom and daddy love you. You fill us with delight. Precious girl. So special too, God has got a plan for you, and we can see it clearly as you shine his light. Do you realize when you shine, everyone sees you, the lives you touch, you're worth so much and that is just dinner yet. Oh, why not? Too many cucumbers jumping on the bed. <laughs> Too many cucumbers <laughs> jumping on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oops. Merry Christmas, Pete. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Josephson. Merry Christmas to your happy little family, Stuart. Merry Christmas, Arthur. Wow, Arthur. That's a very 
unflattering hat. I know. It's a Morty Bumble unflattering hat. The bumblebee comes home to Rockwell today. Today? Come on, Stewie. We've got Christmas shopping to do. You love Christmas shopping. Yeah, sure. Yay! Bumblebee! <laughs> What's happening? It's here! It's Morty Bumble! He's here! Are you ready for Bumble? He's here! He's now! He's awesome! And he's in your hometown! Give it up for the Bumblebee, Morty Bumble! Hello, former neighbors! What is up with your bad selves? Cheers to Morty! Do something Christmassy! Oh, Bumblebee, oh, Bumblebee! How lovely is your mustache! So much better! Hey, Stuart! Oh, Stuart, buddy! Long time no see! I mean, you've seen me, of course. Welcome back, Morty. Not that it feels like you ever left. Wow, my face is all over the place. It's like the world is one big mirror. And wouldn't that be incredible? Well, I better finish up my Christmas shopping. Uh, not so fast. Uh, we've got business to discuss. We do? Join me for a latte? Give me two mocha frutte, uh -huh. maca chiquitos, uh -huh. with extra whip. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I forgot to specify non-fat milk. You said we needed to talk business? Stuart. Old friend Stuart. Old teammate, Stuart. Ha, look at us. It's just like old times, except I am crazy rich. Congratulations, Morty. You've accomplished a lot. How kind of you to say. But you know, Stuart, I've come back to Rockwell to get back to my roots. No pun intended. No pun taken. I'm thinking I could use this town just as much as this town could use me. Uh, how's the toy train business? Not what it used to be, eh? We do just fine. Not according to this chart. Where'd you get that? I made it. Arrows are fun. No, I mean, how do you know this stuff? Oh, you can find out anything if you're rich enough. And guess what I found out? What? You're behind on all your bills. You're barely making ends meet. You can't make trains fast enough to stay in business. And I can make all your troubles go away if you'll just sell me the toy train factory. Whoa. Come on, you can't tell me that you wanted to end up stuck in Rockwell, trapped. Just imagine, Stuart, if you sold me the factory, you could just hop onto that train and leave. If the factory's not making any money, why would you want it? It's not making money for you, but I know how to make money. How? Put my name on it. Pardon me, boy, is that a Morty Bumble choo-choo? Come again. Be sure to eat your matchy dream. Morty Bumble Choo Choo, it has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Your factory will be the official gift shop for Bumble Town. Bumble Town? Formerly Rockwell, the boyhood home of Morty Bumble. Come visit the town that gave birth to the legend. What? That's crazy. My roots are tingling. The mayor's all for it. Of course, we'll need to get rid of the part of the factory that cost me the most money. What part's that? The workers. I won't sell, Morty. Not if it means this town goes without jobs. Fine. I'll be happy to wait for you to fail. Then I'll buy it for nothing. For less than nothing. I'll use a coupon. Then you'll be waiting a long time. As soon as we finish our Christmas orders, we'll be just fine. We'll see. Yes, you will see. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! If you need me, I'll be staying at whatever you call the most expensive hotel in Mortyville. <laughs> Rockwell! Not for long! Okay, now I need something salty. All right, everyone, listen up. We got one night left to finish the trains. That's 10, 70%, 33, 33, take away, 
3,000. 3,000 trains in one night. <gasps> We've got to give it 100% and make this happen. Mr. Green, the most trains we've ever made in a shift is 200. Then 100% isn't good enough. We need to give it 110%. Okay, that gets us to 220. I'm talking figuratively. 100% will never do. Get seven more, then add a few. Cause when our jobs are on the line, get those trains in the gear and we'll be fine. There ain't no I in team. The same's true of extreme. Come on, you gotta dig down deep before you take that leap. You're playing to win, you're laying it in, you're scooping more parts up out of the bin. 100% will never do. Get seven more, then add a few. Split the upright, punch it in. Nice kick. Pick it up, 10 to 110. This time we'll win. have I done? Everything's ruined. It'll take a week to clean this up. Now what are we gonna do? There's no way we'll make it. We're all gonna lose our jobs. Hello, uh. Stuart. I hope you don't mind me dropping in unannounced. I just came by to check out the... Ooh, that's gonna make for a real blue Christmas. I guess this means you'll have to sell me the factory now, huh, Green Machine? You were gonna sell? After all the hard work, the late night, and Bill, wait. Seller, I guess you've got a big decision to make. Merry Christmas, Green Machine. <laughs> God. How did I end up like this? I was gonna do something, something special. But instead, I've ruined everything. Why couldn't I have caught that football? What if Express? A train in the football field. I have gone crazy. Songs with Junior, the part of the show when Junior gets tucked into his warm, comfy bed and is sung a bedtime song. Good night, good night. I'll tuck you in, good night. I'll kiss your cheek, soon you will sleep. Now close your eyes, good night. Junior? Can I have my bear? Your bear? My bear, right there, with brown and fuzzy hair. I love him so, and you must know I feel so much despair. I moan and groan and cry and weep. My tears would drown my counting sheep. You have to sleep. Oh, please, Mom, please don't make me sleep with all my fuzzy bear. Thanks. Good night, good night. The lights are off. Good night. Your sheets soon you will sleep. Now close your eyes, good night. Uh, Mom? Hmm? Can I have my cat? Your cat? My cat, yes, that. He's soft and cute and fat. I love him so, and you must know my heart would fall down flat. It would hear. 
night. It's really late. Mommy, oh, don't go. I need my white tail dough. I love her so, and you must know my grief would overflow. Good night, good night. I'll tuck you in. Good my night. horse, my dog, my prehistoric frog. I love him so, and you must know. Close your eyes. Good night. My crow, my goose. Good night. I love you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. My monkey and a cow. My four legs squid. My goose. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. Good night, Junior. Good night. This has been Bedtime Songs with Junior. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Can I have a drink of water? Well, my family's here. My goodness, here's your ticket. It was in my hand all along. Huh? How'd you do that? I'll tell you, Stuart. I've been driving this train for a hundred years, and I still don't know how it does anything. Sit anywhere you like, but buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I told you I can't leave. Hey! I told you to buckle up. Where are we going? Wherever it is you were running to. What? I wasn't running away. You were certainly running from someone. Oh, yeah? Who? You're running from Stuart. Huh? I'm Stuart. Not the Stuart you should be. Tonight, the What If Express will make three stops. Three stops only. Wait, what's the What If Express? For every regrettable, there's a hypothetical. I don't know what you're talking about. For your first stop, Stuart. You're going to see what your life would have been like if you had only caught that football. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, Stuart. These train tracks can take you many places, but that doesn't mean that they're all places where you should go. <laughs> Down these tracks is the life that you wanted. Down these tracks is what you wish to be. Down these tracks, you'll be the hero. How does that look? We'll just have to see. Down these tracks is someone most famous. Down these tracks, you'll want for nothing. Down these tracks, you'll be the big shot. How does that look? We'll go as we sing. Down these tracks on which we travel lie the choices you'll soon need to make. What will make one better than the other? What will it be? Which path will you take? Down these tracks, down these tracks. Okay, people, let's do this one more time. Celebrity endorsement for Squeezy Cheesy Dream. Take 212. Action! If you're like me, you beg and plead because it's so hard to eat squeeze cheese. But this squeeze cheese, it's easy cheese. It's squeezy cheesy dream. It's like a pillow for your team that comes in chicken. It's my favorite snack relief. It's squeezy cheesy funny. Please your tummy very in a slightly yummy breezy queasy squeezy cheesy dream. Squeezy cheesy dream does not contain dairy and may cause dizziness in some animals. I have a bowl I can spit this awful stuff in? Here's a bowl, big guy. <laughs> Tastes like notebook paper. But twice the calories. What did I miss? Ah, don't sneak up on me like that. I wasn't sneaking. I just had to park the train. What's going on? Why am I right here and over there? I told you, this is our first stop. 
You get to see what life would have been like for you if you had caught that football. So, that's really me? It's certainly what you could be. Here's the final contract. The deal is almost done. All you need to do is sign. Uh, not here. Let's go get some real food. This is very uncomfortable. Being invisible has its downside. Hey! Hurry up with those Ultra Mega Uber Spicy Wings, will ya? I'm hurrying. Hold your horses. Come on! I thought every time a bell rings, a customer gets his wings. All right, show me the paperwork. This sign here and the toy train factory is yours. What? The toy train factory? That's all of Rockwell, right? Don't you mean Stuartville? Ha 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 Good rings. I wouldn't sit there if I were you. I can't believe how ungrateful that town is. I mean, I put Rockwell on the map. They should have built me a statue. Why is famous me so grumpy? Even getting your wish has not changed your heart. I am gonna save a ton when I replace all those workers with robots. No, I won't let you. I mean, I won't let me do it. Those people are hardworking. I, <laughs> I tried to warn you. Get me out of here. What? Who are you? The name's Gabe. Is this some sort of trick? No, Stuart, no trick. Things have changed. You've spent your whole life wishing you had caught that football, and now you have. I get it. I'm dreaming. Makes perfect sense. That Maki Chucky Kido must have given me nightmares. You're not dreaming. Thanks a bunch, dream dude. Be seeing you in my naps. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're moving again. No kidding. So this is real? I really caught that football? And I'm really rich and famous? And every bit is unhappy. Well, that couldn't be true. How could I be rich, famous, and unhappy? You'd be surprised. I think you'll understand better after our second stop. What's the second stop? The first stop was what your life is like since you made that touchdown. Uh-huh. The second stop is what life is now like for everyone else. Where are we? You've been here a thousand times. We're at the Rockwell Town Square. You never look like this. Oh, Christmas me. Oh, Christmas me. Wait, Please dream is that my voice? Christmas. Oh, Christmas me. Oh, Christmas me. The poster boy for fitness. I don't like Famous Stewart. Join the club. I'm closing up for Christmas now, Pete. But I'll be here early day after tomorrow. Is, is that? Stewart, wait! Donna, it's me. It's your... Stewie. Why is she all alone? Why do you think? Because I left town after I made that touchdown. And I never came back. You never married her, Stuart. And she never loved anyone else. Hey, lady, it's Christmas. Got any candy? Oh, boy, it's the football team. Oh, I'm sorry, little boy. I don't have any candy. Uh-oh. Wait, w what are they doing? Wrong answer! Oh! <laughs> uh, 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 that was hilarious! Wait, but, but those are good kids! Not in a world where no one has taken the time to help them become something better. I took the time! That's right. You were like a father to those boys. But not anymore. Wait, my boys. That wasn't the whole team. Where are my twins, Art and Barney? Barney and Art were never born, remember? because you never got married. But wait, that means... Emma. Emma. Emma should be here. She should be alive. And why is that, Stuart? Because Emma was adopted. I'm afraid things are very different in this world. Gabe, where is she? I have to know. Don't do this to yourself, Stuart. Let's just get back on the train. Gabe, what happened to Emma? She's right over there. Emma, Emma, it's me, it's Daddy. I'm afraid she can't hear you. Don't worry, Daddy. I will be your family. I'm here, Emma. I will be Emma. <laughs> please, please tell me this isn't real. 
This isn't better than my old life. What is it you want? I just want all of this to change. Oh, things can change. Welcome to the third stop. The one that requires a choice. What choice? I'll do anything. Stuart, do you believe God loves you? Yes, of course I do. Then why don't you also believe he has directed every step you've ever taken? Precious child, Stuart Green, you're worth much more than it may seem. God has made more of your life than your unleashed dreams. Precious one, so special too, when you doubt God's plan for you, just take a look around you at all the joy you bring. The way you live, the love you give to those around you, the lives you touch, it's worth so much and that's just how God made I know what my choice is. Oh, you do? I can choose to stay in this world of what if. Or? Or I can choose to go back to Rockwell and face my problems, knowing that God has a plan for me. Even, even when, when I don't you see don't it. see it. And that plan for you is better than anything you could come up with on your own. I like Unfamous Stuart. Can I really have it? Oh, yes. I do believe you're ready. All aboard! I can see his love for me. Your words are wise, my new friend. I'll hope in God's good plan alone. With him I can depend. Take a look out the window. The view? I just take your breath away. You are worth so much and it's just by Gabe? Thanks for everything. Rockwell! Oh, I love you, Rockwell! And I love you, coffee shop! And you, big old tree! And you, broken down dentist office! And even you, billboard with big old Morty Bumble! Hey, where is everybody? This old factory may be a disaster, but it's still my... Disaster? Oh, Stuart, isn't it wonderful? I told everyone that you refused to sell the factory, and they all came to help the whole town. <laughs> What's going on in here? I thought everything was busted. It, it was. Hey, Stuart's back. <laughs> Might as well make this a party. <laughs> Every day, Emma. Every single day. What's the matter, Daddy? Nothing's the matter, Emma. I just realized that my life is very meaningful. Teddy wants to know if his life is meaningful, too. You tell Teddy that our lives are special because we have each other, and that's God's plan for us. I can't believe it. Everybody helped you. 
nobody would ever help me. Nobody would want to. Linda? Hi, Morty. It's been a long time. <laughs> Too long. It's good to see you. <laughs> you know, Bumblebee, it's not too late to live a meaningful life. <laughs> I know. You know? I just had the strangest train ride. Merry Christmas, game. <laughs> <laughs>